Hey, welcome. Today we're going to talk about preferences of a child that you're hoping to adopt. So when you enter into the adoption process, you get to choose preferences, what you could or could not accept in the child that you're hoping to adopt. So we're going to dive into that today on All About Adoption. I'm Stephanie A. I am the founder and executive director of Adoption and Beyond, and my goal is to help families bring home the child that is meant for their family through adoption. So when adopting, you're going to set preferences, and this is really hard for families to do is because they just feel guilty for being selective in the type of child that they want to adopt. So there are six steps in this process. One is be honest with yourself. Truly be honest. You are, a lot of times families are pretty desperate to adopt and so they'll choose things that they truly are not comfortable with. And that's not doing your child any service to not fully be able to embrace um, the child that you bring home to your family. So the first thing is just to be honest with yourself. The second thing is to make sure you and your partner are on the same page about what aspects of the child that you're hoping to adopt. So be sure that you guys are in agreement with the preferences. So things that you're going to choose are age, race, gender, number of kiddos hoping to adopt. So make sure you and your partner are on the same page and in agreement with that. The third is to educate yourself. So you'll be asked on whether you are open to a child who has been exposed to drugs or alcohol during the pregnancy. And it'll even be broken down to what drugs you would be open to. And a lot of times you don't really know what those drugs and what the effects and long-term effects will have on a child. So be sure you do your research on what the different drugs do to a child in utero. And I'm going to link to some resources below on some good resources to be able to do that research and to be able to become educated. So before I move on to step number four, if you like what you're hearing, be sure you hit the subscribe button below to get more education each week on adoption. So number four is no maybes. It's either a yes or no. It's black or white. There's no gray in the preference questionnaire. When you get into maybes, uh, well, you know, it just kind of depends on the situation. And no, that's, that's letting your heart enter the discussion and you cannot do that. You need to be thinking with your head when you're making these preferences. And like I said, you're not doing your child any service by bringing home a child that you don't think that you could parent. So don't leave it to emotions and the situation. You need to make these decisions at the beginning, either a yes or a no. Now that's not to say that you can't change your preferences down the road, but don't leave it up to, well, it just depends on the situation. Stop. Don't do that. Number five is to look at your own family. I can tell you something that drives me crazy is when families are not open to certain things that are in their own family history. And it's just like, you know, if you had a child biologically, then the chances are your child might have some of these, uh, you know, genetic history or or conditions that would come through biology so uh, it doesn't make any sense to exclude those when you're looking at adoption so be sure you look at your own family history before you uh, start choosing preferences okay and the sixth thing is do not apologize for the choices that you make I can't tell you where people are like oh I feel so bad that I can't you know, adopt a child with uh, special needs. And, uh, you know, some of these special needs come with what was done to the child in utero by what drugs or alcohol the moms use during their pregnancy. And if you're experiencing pregnancy yourself, you're able to control a lot of those things. So when it comes to adoption, there are just some things that are out of your control. And so it's okay if there is a particular need that you just don't feel that your family is able to take on and do not apologize for that. Just know it's okay to have preferences. So just remember as you're starting the adoption journey, you have to start somewhere.